Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. I have a question for you. What would be your physical, natural first response if someone were to slap you in the face? I know what my response would be uh, if I got slapped in the face. I would probably, without thinking about it, want to slap the person back. <laughs> Just our natural human response before we even have time to think. So that is what our passage is talking about today in Matthew 5, starting in verse 38. It says, You have heard it said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on your cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him too. Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. See, we are looking at the Sermon on the Mount. And the whole Sermon on the Mount that Jesus is preaching is for his followers to know how he wants them to live in life, to reflect his character to the world around him. See, in this last section in chapter 5, it's talking about how Jesus is fulfilling the Old Testament law. And Jesus has these six sections where he makes these, you have heard it said, statements. And he's referring to the Mosaic law. And the Mosaic law is the law that God gave Moses to give to the people of Israel when they were out at Mount Sinai. And Jesus is saying, you've been misunderstanding how to apply the Old Testament covenant. And I'm going to tell you how that we are supposed to live this out. And so he has these six statements. And so Jesus here in verse 38 is directly quoting Deuteronomy 19, verse 20 and 21. And see, these laws were given for the governing like officials. It was never for individual use to use in retaliation. And so we can see that we are never supposed to take revenge ourselves. It is God's job to exact his perfect justice and to take revenge. He says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So anytime that we try and take revenge, we are actually acting in the place of God and therefore sinning. And so we are never supposed to take revenge. And the slap that it's referring to in the original Hebrew is an insulting slap. And so... It's not referring to self-defense. There's actually laws in Leviticus where it's appropriate to have self-defense. So that's not what this is talking about. This is an insulting slap. You're in an argument and someone slaps you in the face as an insult. So that's what it's referring to. So we aren't supposed to take revenge in those situations, but it's not just physical insult. It's also verbal insult as well. If someone's attacking you with the words they are saying, we are not supposed to retaliate or even defend ourselves in those types of situations. We are to trust God's justice and trust that he is going to defend us and be our protector. I also want to make it very clear that this passage is not to be misunderstood or taken out of context to allow for abuse or to justify staying in an abusive relationship. If you are in an abusive relationship, please get help. Call the police, contact Faith and Grace, please get help because I want you to know that God does not want you to be in an abusive relationship. He created you in his image. He loves you. He created you with value and purpose. So please get help. So this passage is telling us that we need to be unoffendable. We need to trust God, and live in humility. And the last section, the last verse says, give to the one who begs from you and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. So we're supposed to help those who are truly in need. And so you say, how do you connect retaliation with giving to the needy? And the connection there is humility and trust in God. See, we actually need those for anything applying the Sermon on the Mount to our life because this is how God wants us to live in our everyday life. And so we need to humble ourselves before God 
and trust his ways and surrender our ways, our way of thinking, our desires, saying, I'm gonna surrender those to you and I'm gonna choose to trust you, God, and follow your ways no matter what. So today, will you humble yourself before God and follow him? I pray that you do. Have a great day.